Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Thanks for stopping by again. I hope everybody's doing well and I am continuing with my Spring Easter 2022 decoration series. And today I'm just gonna drop a quick little video for you uh, if you need a little vignette for maybe a side table or if you like it, you could actually make it on a bigger scale for a table. You might like it, you might not like it. That's why you're gonna drop me a comment and let me know what you think about it. I just thought of it off the top of my head. I don't know, maybe other people have done it. I'm sure if I thought of it, it must be out there as well. But it's a little vignette using broken eggshells. So I hope you like it and stay tuned for the video. Here it comes. Okay, so I had this idea for a little vignette on one of the side tables in the living room that is turning into like an English garden, bunny garden. Um, I don't know if you caught my mantle, please do. Okay, look at it if you haven't. And also my coffee tablescape with my carrot uh, garden box. So I guess this could be also used uh, anywhere, even as a centerpiece if you like it. I, I don't even know how it's gonna come out because <laughs> I just thought about it. So I'm gonna use this tray right here. And what I've done is I cut a piece of the green carpeting and I'm gonna put that here. Now, uh, you saw, um, I'm gonna put in right now what I did with the eggs. Uh, I'm gonna insert that in this section right here. I took half the plastic eggs and I just kind of like mm, roughed up the edges. I used a plier and I used scissors and I just kind of like broke it so that the egg looks like it is, you know, more cracked than it normally would be. Next, I'm just going to paint these. Okay, so you see how I cracked the eggs. I took the, uh, the regular uh, plastic eggs and I just made the really rough edges and now I paint them with... Um, kind of like uh, it's more like a brown egg look I didn't make it look colorful but I'll, I'll be honest with you the paint was having a really hard time sticking to it um, the, the plastic is so shiny so uh, it's a little bit trying but anyway let's see how it looks I didn't want to spend that much time in case I hated what it looked like so the first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to hot glue these to this tray to make it look like the little chicks so the little duckies just um, hatched out of it. Well, not just, but hatched out of it. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there. Okay, and I just have to figure out some kind of arrangement that I want before I go any further. And maybe like this. Okay, so this one I'm going to put on its side like this, okay? And then this one I'm gonna put down here. It's a little bit further away. Now this would also be cute if you had like uh, little uh, chicks and you could actually uh, make them look like they hatched and they're you know standing around around the eggs but I don't have those and I don't even know where I would find them to tell you the truth and I don't want to order them and wait so I guess I could find them online but I'm not gonna do that all right so here you go I have my eggs my cracked eggs in my tray now I'll show you what I'm gonna do next hold on All right, so the next thing I did was I took some of that floral foam and I just cut them into little squares like that and then I hot glued them into the eggs like that. <clears throat> so what I had then was I had these, these were actually wooden roses and they were pink and ugly looking. So I just painted them with that same color that I've been using, that lilac color. And it's a regular acrylic paint. I used purple and white and I got that uh, color. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look like some dirt blew into these um, little eggshells and 
we have some tulips that kind of look like tulips now and not roses and some tulips uh, grew in these spots or well, whatever whatever you want to, you know whatever you want to call it okay so let me see Okay, so I was having my usual uh, fight with the um, the glue gun. My fingers were burning off, but here it is. So you can see it's a little um, it's a little a piece that it could be. I'm using it on a side table, but I guess if you made it bigger, you could actually use it as a centerpiece. So what I did since the last time I saw you was uh, I put the flowers in, like I told you, and then I went up and I got some leaves and I t twirled them, that's where I was burning my fingers, I to make them look like, you know how the leaves come out, they, they turn. So I did that and then I put those in, I cut them to the appropriate size, and then I added in some um, of the moss inside at the bottom of the, the flowers and so on, and then I just added these uh, stones in here just to complete the look. So I have a little uh, garden vignette with, uh, tulips growing out of these cracked eggs. So what do you think of that? It's not too bad, right? It's kind of cute. Get rid of all these little hairs now. Okay, so I'm going to go put that where I made it for. So there you go. There it is. What do you think of it? I think it's kind of cute for a little, just a little doodad somewhere on a table or something like that. Just brings the season to life. Okay, everybody, I hope you are all doing well. Take care. A thumbs up if you think I deserve it. It is always greatly appreciated. And like always, please subscribe if you just stumbled on me. I do do more elaborate things than this, but I thought this was too cute to pass up. Okay, everybody, bye-bye. Take care.